Okay, so a few weeks ago, one of our big photo bulbs that powers the key lights went out and it made this awesome explosion inside and I didn't know what to do with it. But it looked really cool, so I gave it to Wes to say, hey, man, come on, I know you can do something fun with this. And you've done some really fun stuff with LEDs. So let's take a look. Everything to work with. I love it. <laughs> right. So what do we have lights. here? It's Basically, it's a uh, photosensitive light. Mm -hmm. So when the lights go dim, it comes on. So it's a geek night light. Basically. Awesome. And it also doubles as a really good beginner's project to getting into electronics. Hey, that's a great uh, great mod for episode one. Yeah, I thought so. And you guys, I actually do plan on doing a lot more electronic stuff, so this is a good place to start. And uh, basically what we're looking at is it's it, it looks more complicated than what it is. It's actually a fairly simple circuit once you get past the wiring diagram, which actually threw me for a loop real quick. Mm -hmm. so, where would you get inspired by this? This actually came off of a... Uh, Hardware hack that I saw on both Instructables and iHacked. Great websites if you haven't been there. Oh, yes. A great, great resource to find projects people have come up with mm -hmm. and if you want to repeat them yourselves. But uh, the original project was a uh, balls, balls bottle. Light. Oh, okay. So we're using a uh, big photo bulb here, but you could also use uh, bottled balls with some Corvassier, yeah, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, you can use Corvassier, whatever strikes your fancy, whatever you have on hand. We just decided to use this light bulb. Just and, <laughs> but uh, if you're working with glass, please exercise caution, especially if you're going to cut open a light bulb like this one, because you are working with glass, sharp right. edges. And that's vacuumed and all that fun stuff. Yeah, right? the vacuum's not the big problem. It's the actual, if you have to, if you happen to break the glass. So, mm. you know, it's very at least extreme caution. Yes, uh, follow all shop safety. You know, rules. as always with any mod that you do. Yeah, it's safety. Uh, so can you stuff can like you uh, walk us through how this thing works? Okay, basically what we have here is a uh, nine volt battery right here, and that's obviously supplying power. Whoa! Oh my <laughs> goodness! And uh, two resistors here. One is a hundred k ohm mm -hmm. resistor. And the other one's it's like it's a 460, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay. And it, it eludes me at this moment. And that they're both connected to the positive line, and the lesser of the two resistors goes to the LED, and the LED goes to this NPN type switching transistor. Right. So that's here. that's really the brains of all this. Right? This is what's making it work because we have two electrical currents running here. Mm -hmm. The other, the 100 k ohm resistor, is connected to our photo resistor on the back here. Okay. Right there. So that's what's giving it the special sauce. So that's, if we can see that the LED is shining right here, yeah, because it's I, getting oh, but I expose it to the light and the LED goes out. Cover. I see. See. So when the light goes out, the LED goes on. Oh yes. Awesome. awesome. And and the way these little photo things work, these photoresistors work, is the more light they have, the more conductive they are. Oh, okay, so it's stealing the electricity from the battery then. Well, it's, it's it's bypassing the current going through the light, so we still have a continuous electrical current, so mm -hmm. you know it's actually working, but the light's not getting power. Cool. And then no light, it stops being conductive, and then the LED gets the power. And you also seem to have built a pretty spiffy little kind of, I don't know, it's got kind of an oriental feel to it, little enclosure for this bulb here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so can we put this all together and see what it looks like? Yeah, and of course, you know, if I were doing this, you know, like and a permanent thing, I would I would tighten this all up. Right. I just needed breadboard. Sure. Would breadboard, be great. Bre yeah, breadboard definitely. I just wanted to make sure I could illustrate the circuitry a little bit better. So if this shorts out, well, of course it's going to short out because this is live television. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yes, it shorted. Hold on, I got wires touching. Oh god, lost something here. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. Never mind. It actually decided to work. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so when the light goes out, oh, see, that's ooh. Oh, that's so much fun. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to build like one that. for myself. No, I'm going to get you to build me one, too. <laughs> now, if somebody wants to build one of their, their own at home, where, where did you... The, well, in the, show, in the show notes that we'll have in the Pack 5 Wiki, awesome. we'll have links to the ball, the ball's light. On Instructables? On Instructables or iHack. Instructables works. Sweet.